Hello viewers, welcome back to computer networking class. So in previous video, we had discussed about case studies of Netflix, YouTube and Kanken. Now in this video, we will be talking about network support for multimedia. So do you think all protocols which we have studied in pre uh, previous slides, do you think they are sufficient for transmission of multimedia? Okay, my answer is no, because that are good for low traffic now we need extra protocols for high traffic demand or high demand so if there are increase in demand and these are forecasted so we have to deploy additional bandwidth now this deployment of additional bandwidth is called network positioning and for differentiated service so firstly different uh, different type of approaches are forwarded in different type of datagram service so if the datagram is for video so it has to be marked as video and if the datagram is related to http then it has to mark for that class only now this is called differentiated service now talking about per connection qos guarantees so with per connection qos guarantees each instance of application explicitly reserves end to end bandwidth so if we need to forward VOIP type of means VoIP type of data from one end to another end, we have to reserve the links between one end user to another end user. These are done in two ways. One is giving a hard guarantee. If a hard guarantee is provided, then link will not be broken in the whole part of the call. And if there is soft guarantee, then there, there is a probability of getting full guarantee. So this is called hard guarantee and soft guarantee. Now dimensioning best effort service. So probing in supporting multimedia applications are. So firstly is low end to end packet delay, delay jitter, loss and these all occur when network is congested. So we have we had experienced that delay jitter and loss are uh, caused at the time of high traffic. So one simple approach to solve that is to increase the link capacity. By increasing the link capacity, we can get less traffic. So how much capacity to provide? It is selected by bandwidth provisioning or it is decided by bandwidth provi provisioning. And another complicated problem is to design a network topology. So to design a network topology, which should be best fit for the multimedia videos, so this is called network dimensioning and some issues related to this topic are so firstly we have to model the traffic and uh, then we have to measure and model the well-defined performance requirements after that we have to predict end-to-end -end performance for a given workload model now so different type of service itself indicates that different quality of service are desired and uh, several network offer precedence which somehow treats high precedence traffic as more important than other traffic so motivating scenarios are that so firstly insight is that this is an example of two type of traffics so let's say h1 is sending an audio uh, data to h3 and h2 is sending some HTTP data, datagram to H4 and uh, the link rate is 1.5 MB, Mbps between R1 and R2 and the bit rate for VD audio is uh, 1 Mbps and you can uh, take any random bit rate for HTTP, HTTP. Now firstly we have to mark the packets according to their classes. So as audio link is more important so firstly audio is marked and then http is marked according to the traffic so this is called insight one in which packet marking allows a router to distinguish among packets belonging to different classes of traffic after that in insight two so it is desirable to provide a degree of traffic isolation among classes so that one class is not adversely affected by another classes of traffic 
So in previous example, we had seen that if there is one Mbps of link uh, which is shared by which is shared for audio purpose, if it is sending at one Mbps, then 0.5 Mbps gets vacant. It can be used by HTTPs. So this is called traffic isolation among classes and HTTP and videos are simultaneously sent at the same time from R1 to R2. After that, if uh, the audio link bit rate get increases, means the datagram of audio packets gets increased from 1 Mbps, then it will block the transmission of HTTPs. So this is called traffic policing in which we uh, means bars the transmission of audio packets and uh, rate of audio packet are maintained to be 1 Mbps and in inside 3 which is while providing isolation among classes or flows it is desirable to use resources as efficiently as possible. So if it is using 1 Mbps then HTTP should simultaneously use 0.5 Mbps for transmission from R1 to R2. So these are called link scheduling disciplines. So there are some link scheduling disciplines which are working in today's scenario are that. So first one is first in first out. In this packet, in this type of link scheduling, the packet which is uh, which comes first is served first. So as you can see that if one, two, three are uh, the packets and one is having higher precedency and two is having uh, two comes after one then it will be served after one so if the input like one is coming before the second then it is processed means packet in service and departed first before two so likewise two comes before three so two is processed before three and gets served to output before three and in same way, 3 is served before 4 and 4 is served before 5. In this way, the packets are served. But this is not judicious way of transmitting the, transmitting the video or audio packets or any packets. So next one is priority queuing. In priority queuing, the one uh, or the packets which have higher priority are sent first. So in this pack in these type of collection of packets if one is having a higher priority and uh, of course it comes first in the link so it will be served first to the output but in two and three three as having higher precedency will serve first at the output end and two will send after three and now after long time four uh, comes so four will be sent first as there is no competition so, so uh, after 4, 5 will be served to the output. In this way, priority queuing happens. So dark ones are high priority inputs and uh, light ones are low priority inputs. Next uh, scheduling discipline is round robin and wait fair queuing. So in this type of round robin scheduling, the packets are sent alternatively to the output. So as you can see that 1, 2, 3 came but firstly 1 came <coughs> sorry so firstly 1 is served to the output then as there this is alternate process 3 will be uh, served to the output after that 2 will be sent to the output after processing. In same way 4 will be served to the output and then 5 will be sent to the output. But in weighed fair queuing, as a round robin is not judicious to the priorities of the packets, so weighed fair, weighed fair queuing takes account of priorities of the packet. So in this type of discipline, equitable account of, uh, so equitable amount means giving the reward to in judicious manner. So W1 as having higher precedency will be served more to the 
output okay i mean to say that, uh, that as w1 is having higher precedency more amount of w1 will be sent to the output and proportionate amount of traffic will be sent from input to output this is called weight fair queuing now in next video we will be talking about policing with the leaky bucket problem till then thank you